Hi, my name is Casey O'Neill, and this is part of the 100 Testimony Challenge, where I talk about 100 stories of my life with Jesus. And today, I'm going to be talking about something that's kind of more difficult for me to talk about, I think, because I love this person very much. And um, and she, uh, when I go see her, um, I, I enjoy our conversations. But when I leave, I just feel really crummy. I don't feel good. It takes me a long time to be able to uh, recover from the negativity and all the things that um, kind of are like put on. It, it feels like I just, there's a lot of like comparison. Um, I get compared like an extreme amount, whether I'm winning this comparison or not, it doesn't feel good. And I, I honestly don't want to be winning this. And it, it just, she's just mean in a nice way. It's like, she says all these very, very mean and cruel things to me and about my life. And it's hard because they're said in such a nice way that they're almost taken as a compliment. And so afterwards, I'm like, man, was that really said? Like, did she really say that about me or about something? And it, and it just breaks my heart. And um, I ended up having to stop uh, going over there because um, for one, when I did bring my son there, um, she would expose him to such um, traumas. And um, it, it was really, really hard uh, to to be like, it, it just wasn't being um, taken when I had expressed to her that like, we can't talk about this stuff in front of my son. Like, so it, it got to a point where I just couldn't go over there because I was always with my son. I always, I would need to like go there by myself. But then when I did go by myself, I'd be coming home and I'd start like, rage cleaning the house and trying to process all these like really really negative emotions and um and this this woman like uh talks a lot of like gossip about people and so there was all these like just negative things um happening and it you know when when you do hang out with somebody that um that that's a christian or at least that says that they are a christian and then they're like kind of bringing you down into this, um, where, where you're sinning too, or you're, um, like for me, like it was hard cause we'd be talking about someone else and, um, it was just really, really hard to not, um, I guess engage in, in a way that, um, I just like, I would, I would come back home and I just, I feel so, so bad. I'd be, it was just such a toxic relationship and it breaks my heart because I love this woman so, so much. Like I, um, turmoil is probably very, very close to what I'm in for not going to see her and the guilt, oh, the guilt is horrible. Um, but I pray, I pray over her all the time, but I just remember I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Every time I went there, I would come home and there was just like all this, I think because of all the, the just the toxic conversations that we had was so, they were just so unproductive and very, very bad. And I just kind of like, it just like would be like poured on me. And I, I always felt so bad and it would take so long for me to decompress like days, sometimes weeks, sometimes even months. And um, there'd be mean things that were said about me and my life and it would hurt so bad and it just broke my heart. And it was like half truth, so it was hard not to believe it. Um, Cause it was like half of r real life. And then, so it just, every time I went there, I just felt horrible. And then, and then I started regretting like, or like dreading going and I'm like, Oh, I have to go. And, and I don't want to go. And then like when I would, I would give her presents, the presents were just not okay. Not good. Not happy about any of it. And then, so I went like completely out of my way to like re-gift, um, her a present that I, I just couldn't even afford. And 
because that like the one that I had given to her was just not okay and she was like really rude about it and but but was laughing the whole time but acting like um I, acting like I was a piece of garbage for trying to consider her and her health and things and it was just like and then she like re recommended something else that was like super super expensive and I'm just like oh my goodness like I don't even I could barely afford what what I had given her and then I and then like I was just I was done I I and, and it I was just like you know what I, I she doesn't even want to be around me like for me it was like it was just it was not a safe place for me to be and it really really just really still torments me because I want I, 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 I like go I go in this place where I'm like okay I should probably like amp myself up to go see her but as I'm doing that I'm just like praying and praying and praying and usually these scriptures come in and it's like we're not supposed to be around people that do this sort of thing like when when it's really really toxic and it really just causes us to sin because it does it causes me to sin in a deep deep way and it's actually really dangerous for me and for my faith and for my family really because I'm just in this turmoil for so long it's so difficult and so I had to just I had to stop seeing her and it really um it really broke my heart and even when I would pray and ask like, okay, God, is this okay? Like, sh should I go? Like, I keep get feeling really, really guilty about this and stuff. And I, and I just was, I was, it was going over and over in my head. And then our pastor ended up having, um, having a sermon about service and about taking care of people and going and, and being with other people that, um, and I was just like, oh no. And then I started thinking about this, this woman. And I started thinking about like, oh man, I really should probably go see her and then he ends the the thing uh the whole sermon with you need to be careful and you need to be wise and you need to make sure that if it's a toxic and abusive relationship you cannot do this like it's not okay it's better for you to not be in it and it just gave me the great converse com confirmation that i really can't be in this relationship and it it, it makes me so sad because I want to be in this relationship like I I want I want this I, I want this relationship I, I, I want to be in her life but I just can't be in her life and that makes me really really sad but what I can do is I can pray for her and every time I think about it I can pray for her I can pray hard for her I can be in her life by praying for her and helping pray for her is the only way I can really be in her life and be a good support system not being in this is my boundary I, I can't see her but I can pray for her and it still is hard it's hard and then it's like that um almost like fear of missing out kind of situation where you're just like oh man i want to be there like i i, I want to be part of her life and i want to you know be there for her birthday and i want to do these things but i it's just not safe for me or for my son and i i i ultimately have to take care of the, my family first and then um you know, if it's not safe for me to go there, because it, in the end, not safe for me to be, um, like, how I act afterwards. It's just not safe. So, yeah. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, if there's anybody else that is in um, a, a toxic relationship, um, like I was, Lord, just give them peace. If they're not supposed to, if they're supposed to minister to, the, to them, like give them the grace and peace that they keep going into this line of fire. Lord, you will give them everything that you need and you will give them the protection that they need if, if you are calling them to do this. But if you're not calling them to do this, if you want them to retreat, if you want them to step away, Lord, give them the peace to step away. Help them and give them the door to shut this relationship and, and, and open a different, different way so that, 
so that Lord, they can be protected and give them the confirmation that they need through their life and through the Bible and through whatever they need. If they need to not be in a relationship like this, Lord, and I know it still grieves me and it's been so long and it's still such a, a burden on my heart, Lord. So I know this isn't an easy thing. This is not easy or fun. But also, if they're in a dangerous relationship, please help them find the door to cut cut it off. And, and Lord, I ask that it be the other person that shuts that door so that it's easier for them to step away. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching. I, uh, I know this, this really isn't an easy thing and that's kind of why I didn't even really want to talk about it because it's just not an easy thing and it's uncomfortable and it's just toxic and sometimes can be very abusive and that's, that's where it gets really scary and dangerous for you. So, um, I pray for wisdom for you. Um, you can, you can, um, also like look all this stuff up in scripture and it will um it will help confirm whatever you need to be doing um because because there is there is people that are called to be with these other people and to minister to them and to work with them and to come alongside them and really just try to help and guide them and then there's other people like me in this situation where we're just not meant to be there but what we can do is we can pray for them so much. And the thing is, is if we're out of the situation, we're not getting like overly like toxic. Like instead, all that energy isn't being used for all this toxic waste trying to process it. Instead, we're using our prayers and we're covering them with prayers and we can just continue to do that. And so um, I, I thank God that we can do that. So yeah, I want to remind you, you are chosen, you are wanted, you are needed, and you are most definitely loved by God. And you are very, very precious to God. And he doesn't want you to be in a relationship that's just so harmful for you. He doesn't. He loves you so much. And sometimes it is just stepping away. Even maybe just for a little while. But yeah. I'm praying for you. Proverbs 13 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the com com companion of fools will suffer harm. James 3 16. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder in every vile practice. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Proverbs 22.24-25 Make no friendship with a man given to anger, nor go with a, war, a wrathful man, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare.